Hello, my name is Mark Schippenmuller. I'm the product manager of camera systems at Arri, and I'll run you through the Alexa SXT, which is the latest upgrade in the Alexa line of camera. The Alexa SXT comes in three versions. There's the Alexa SXT EV, the Alexa SXT Plus, and the Alexa SXT Studio. And the camera consists of the SXT body with boards, electronic boards from the Alexa 65. It has the Alexa 65 image processing chain and defect pixel correction and it has the color management and the optional noise reduction from the Amira. Now with all that processing power in the camera, we can do a lot of exciting new things. First of all, we can now record in-camera ProRes 4K. We're taking the 3.2K from the camera and we're doing a mild up-res in-camera, either to 4K UHD or to 4K Cine, which is 4096 pixels. Next, we have a new recording format, Airy Raw 3.2K. Every RAW 3.2K is the largest number of photo sites on the sensor 3.2K that is still covered by most Super 35 PL mount lenses and that we can run at higher than 100 frames per second. We have an improved image quality. Because of the defect pixel correction, we allow longer exposure times and because of the noise reduction, we can shoot at higher sensitivity with less noise. There's a new look management in the Alexa, which consists of a new look file, the Airy Look File 2, which contains the ASC CDL, the color decision list, as well as a 3D lookup table. This is wonderful for doing live color on the set. You can use a program like Pomford Live Grade or Codex Live to change the CDL value in the camera live while it's on the set. And at the same time, we're storing all the metadata for the look in the image. We're storing the metadata per every raw frame and per QuickTime clip, so software downstream can then use it. For instance, Adobe Premiere, Apple Final Cut Pro, and Avid Media Composer can automatically apply the look from the set to the footage. Also, this will do faster automated dailies, and it'll help, help in final color grading. Next, we have monitoring. We have three completely independent monitor outputs in the Alexa SXT. And each one of those can be set to either Rec. 709 or the Rec. 2020 color space. Once Rec. 2020 monitors will be available on the set, the Alexa is already prepared to supply a Rec. 2020 color space to those monitors. In addition, it's prepared for high dynamic range monitoring on the set. Again, once high dynamic range monitors become available for on the set monitoring, the Alexa will already be able to pro provide an image for those monitors. Then we have a new media bay and new drives. The new media bay is right here on the camera. And this is one of the new drives. There are two types of new drives. There's a one terabyte and a two terabyte new drives. The two terabyte was specifically developed for the Alexa 65. The one terabyte drive was developed for the Alexa SXT. Now both drives work in both cameras. However, probably a one terabyte drive makes more sense for the SXT. And then the two terabyte drive makes more sense for the Alexa 65. And last but not least, we have what we call single speed mode. There's no more differentiation between regular speed mode, i.e. 0.75 to 60 frames a second, and high speed mode, 60 to 120. It's all one speed mode now, so the rebooting that was necessary to switch speed modes is not necessary anymore with the Alexa SXT. That's the Alexa SXT. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you at the next ABC.